Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Teague. Let's jump right into it. The S&P 500 is recovering today after yesterday's 4.3% bender. It's not uncommon for obvious reasons that after a 4% drop, the bias in the S&P 500 the next day is to the upside. However, I will note the smaller that bounce is, the lower my expectations will be for the market for the next few weeks. Today, the VIX is cooling off after yesterday's rally. However, the VIX remains at 26 and a half in the middle of its range. Now, this sell-off came right on schedule. September seasonally is the the worst month of the year for equities and the week before exp expiration is the worst week of the year in midterm years so that's where we are right now and a further drop again to the year-to-date lows is still possible keeping an open mind for that now while that would be significant it's still in line for normal corrections in the markets now if we're going to experience a 2001 or 2008 type of uh, sell-off a further 20 percent downside is still possible so keeping that all in mind now today the vix is still muted as i said 26 and a half well off the low end of the range well off the high end of the range it's not really giving me a clue uh, contrarian wise as to the direction of the market, but it does say that for investors worried about downside protection, protection is still relatively cheap for the moment. And looking at the bond market, the CPI number should not have been too much of a surprise. Bonds in the short term have been, short term yields have been rising and been on year to date highs. They've been calling this inflation for some time. A pullback in equities brings it back in line to where bonds have been. Now, looking back at the past two CPI numbers, it's interesting to see how the market can uh, knee jerk and overreact to things. July, we got a better than expected CPI number. And honestly, the, the market was looking for good news, really dying, looking to see that inflation had peaked. Uh, we've inflation had been so high forever so i can get that overreaction and now again we're getting that reaction uh yesterday's cpi so maybe combining them two together would be more prudent now um now for the bull case it makes it makes a lot of sense every time that inflation peaks the bottom is in for the market now however usually when inflation peaks uh, the case for the Fed to continue its hawkish node uh, ends and it can quickly pivot. However, uh, usually when inflation peaks, uh, the economy uh, was not as robust as it is now. And uh, it might not be that inflation was as sticky as it is now. And that's the worry for the market right now. Will the rates need to stay higher for longer? But at the end of the day, what will be most important is how the economy performs and how uh, companies can earn and continue to raise their earnings. So setting up a pivotal fourth quarter, October and November, going to be very important for me. Uh, will companies continue to beat on earnings? Will they continue to raise their earnings expectations? Uh, what will happen to the market if we get, start to see some earnings misses, if we get some guidance lower? Uh, how, uh, how bad can it get for equities? For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.